G'day, my name's Guy Ballard and I'm an Adjunct Senior Lecturer here at the University of New England. Uh, I work for the Department of Primary Industries, but through an invasive animal CRC project, we work really closely with UNE to undertake research on dingoes, foxes, feral cats, and other animals in the beautiful national parks around Armada. My role here at UNE is to lead a project on interactions between predators, prey and plants, with a big focus on dingoes. We also work on foxes, feral cats, quolls, and some really nice native fauna like brush tailed rock wallabies. Our project team includes staff and students, mostly PhDs, who do really cool work in the field like collaring dingoes, uh, collaring foxes and cats, using camera traps to monitor activity and behaviour of wildlife. We also have people travelling around the world to places like Yellowstone National Park or here in Australia to the Tanami Desert, the Strizlecki Desert and the beautiful north coast of New South Wales to do research on wildlife interactions with people and people's attitudes towards wildlife and wildlife management. My work includes a lot of dingo collaring. We trap dingoes using humane foothold traps, fit GPS collars, a lot like this one, to them, and then see what they do in the environment, how they interact with each other, how they interact with livestock in some situations, or native animals like macropods. One of the outputs from our work using the GPS collars and maps so that we can show stakeholders like livestock producers or national parks managers exactly where dogs are moving in the landscape. Some of the surprising things we've found is exactly how far dogs are moving. Some of them are moving more than 100 kilometres away from the places we trap them. None of this would have been known without putting GPS collars on them in the first place. By trapping dogs, foxes, cats and quolls, putting GPS collars on them and tracking them through the landscape, we're able to have a look at interactions that we really didn't know much about before now. Uh, some of our work on quolls in particular has shown that they're moving over scales as large as wild dogs, which has real ramifications for how we manage them in agricultural landscapes and in conservation areas like National Park. One of the great things about studying and working at UNE is our close proximity to spectacular World Heritage listed National Parks and amazing facilities on campus for research. 